bonjour hi guys it is day three in paris this is my last full day in paris um i haven't been really vlogging because i'm just like soaking it up like i'm really enjoying the vibes that paris has to offer the city of love i love it so much very parisian today the beret, I took this in South Africa, you know, so it is 100% wool and I also dyed it myself and got it like this rich, nice burgundy color. But today I have a full day of adventures. The sun literally just came out. It's been gloomy this whole week. So I'm so excited about that. I'm going to try and hurry up and go to breakfast. See you guys later. It is now day, I don't know, four. I'm in Paris, France. Um, I'm staying in, I guess you can say the Wall Street of Paris. I'm staying at a friend of a friend's apartment. And basically, I will be babysitting his apartment for now. Um, let's not even talk about what just happened prior to my arrival here. I literally got to the airport and I was like, it's fine. The flight is just an hour. Couldn't charge my phone, really. Lost my air pillow. Got my stuff thrown out. I should have just, I should have just taken the air train. To be honest, because I would have been able to carry any type of liquids I wanted, Ugh, and I would have had more leg space. Instead, I was stuck and forced to sit in a small, cramped space, and then unfortunately had to deal with a lot of bad breath. It was just horrible. So that happened, and then, yeah, I got to the airport didn't find a charger couldn't charge my phone because the port wasn't working and an Italian man an angel literally saved my life we were speaking like three different languages and somehow he had a bank and he was at the flight for at least like 16 hours earlier than he needed to be because he just wanted to read his book at the airport. His flight was at 6.30 and I met him at 10.30 p.m. Do you know how lucky I am to be in that moment to find someone like him? And yeah, we just started talking and then he helped me get a taxi. The people here are rude. They literally will cancel on you if you don't speak French. So there's that, but yeah. never fails where I have a migraine all of a sudden and honestly I haven't been really vlogging because I'm just trying to enjoy my time as much as I can because my stay here is really short but I did go to the department store which is a big mall they had plenty of stuff there I got a migraine easily with all the perfumes and the designer bags and it's just a lot but definitely check it out if you are in Paris so there's that I did go to Ramo Ramoa but to be honest, their suitcases look a little cheap and they're kind of too small and way too expensive. Bonjour, bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, I am now heading to the metro to go take the train to go to dinner. <laughs>
Also, the place I'm staying at is the city of Paris. Well, it's not the city of Paris, but it's like where the business people are, like people with professional jobs. So it's actually interesting to see the difference. Like over here is very like skyscraping buildings, modern. Um, I only saw one guy in a suit. Everyone's on vacation, so not everyone is gonna be out. But yeah, it's really nice here. And the metros are like so advanced compared to New York City metros. So that was very eye-opening about the city. Honestly, I just love how fast they are and efficient. Barely any delays. Literally haven't had one delay, only one. But we have to switch trains. But then again, it's a holiday, so that's expected. But yeah, and the neighborhood I'm staying is actually very quiet. And I like that, you know? But my Uber's coming now. I'm gonna have to practice some French. Okay, bye. times like this you need to honestly just order fast food during New Year's Eve in Paris because they will literally try to rip you off and tell you to pay $200 per person just to eat and there's freaking police everywhere yeah no I'm just gonna go to some random restaurant to be honest Wow. 